Chapter 13 Our Environment Science Word Pile Let us first study meanings of some important words in this chapter. Here are some new words along with their meaning. Ecosystem Association of a biological community and the physical environment. Decibel Unit of sound. E-waste Electronic waste such as DVD, CD, floppies, etc. Incineration It is the burning of waste in special furnaces. Compost A biological process in which microorganisms convert degradable organic waste into a humus-like substance. The earth on which we live may be considered as a vast ecosystem. An ecosystem is an environment in which the living organisms are dependent upon each other and their physical environment. The study of ecosystems is called ecology. It is derived from the Greek words oikos meaning home and logos meaning study, which implies the study of organisms at home. Scientifically, it is defined as the study of the relationships of living organisms with each other and with their environment. The portion of the earth on which the biotic or living components are present is called the biosphere or ecosphere. The earth comprises of soil, water and air. These are the non-living or the abiotic components which provide sustenance to different kinds of living forms. Now under normal conditions, an ecosystem remains in a stable state. However, any change in the environment will disturb the system, affecting the various cycles that maintain it. Destruction of Ecosystem Due to Pollution The Industrial Revolution has made man's life more comfortable, but it has been at the cost of the environment. Excessive use of our natural resources and increase in pollution, which causes the release of harmful Toxic substances into the environment is damaging our ecosystem. Types of Pollution The different forms of pollution include air pollution, water pollution, soil pollution, noise pollution and radioactive pollution. Air Pollution Air pollution is caused by factories and industrial units which give out gases like carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, ammonia and oxides of nitrogen. Smoke from domestic fires, fumes from automobiles, pesticides and dust also pollutes the atmosphere. Respiratory diseases are caused due to air pollution. So air pollution is quite dangerous, isn't it? Water pollution Toxic chemicals and substances such as arsenic, mercury and lead which enter water bodies cause water pollution. Arsenic poisoning causes black patches on skin. Death can result from mercury or lead poisoning. Both plant and animal life in water 
are adversely affected by these pollutants. Soil pollution. Soil pollution results from excessive use of fertilizer and pesticides. These substances enter food chains and find their way into the human body. Landfills also damage large areas of soil. Noise pollution. Noise pollution is caused by automobile horns, airplanes, machines, loud music, etc. It can result in deafness and may also cause nervous disorders and stress. Sometimes we find that truck drivers and industrial workers who work in areas where there is very high level of noise are a bit aggressive and rude in behavior. Have you ever noticed this? This is due to noise pollution. If someone remains for a long period within a high noise level of 130 decibels or higher, they may have a feeling of ringing in their ears and in some cases, this may lead to a permanent disease known as tinnitus. Radioactive Pollution Radioactive pollution caused by radioactive waste from nuclear plants may result in cancer and skin problems. Environmental Conservation Considering the danger caused by pollution and the wasteful use of natural resources, it is essential for every member of our global family to make a sincere effort towards environmental conservation. Is it not so? Now this involves a control on pollution at all levels. An effort to reduce domestic and industrial wastes and development of recycling processes for different forms of waste.